Hey guys, welcome back for my second tutorial. This one is gonna be, I don't know, I think it's a little more prominent than the last one. Uh, not everybody needs to know how to trade Pokemon in order to enjoy the game, but it seems like a lot more people are asking questions about how do you get uh, a lot of the Pokemon that it seems like other people have, but you haven't seen them inside the game, run into them in battle, or, uh, or whatnot. So uh, it does seem like a lot of people are asking that question, and the answer to that question is send Pokemon. It was an earlier form of the game, and it's actually linked to the Pokemon Adventure. Um, in that, if you train a Pokemon in that, uh, uh, through uh, sending a Pokemon or, or whatnot, it will actually show up in your uh, Pokemon Adventure game. So, me for myself, I've, I've gotten quite a few Pokemon from that, and, uh, you know, you, you can just get, a, like, an incredibly wide variety of Pokemon from Send Pokemon that are really just really ungettable in, uh, in the Pokemon Adventure game. The uh, first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is come up here and search for the application, because we need to install it first and it is titled send pokemon i've already got it installed so you can see it there but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and search facebook for it this is the application that you're going to be searching for it's titled send pokemon developed by the pokedex and uh... yeah so go ahead and give that a click and that will essentially bring you to this page here and as you can see i've already got it installed as you uh... So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to go to this application. You'd have to install it. And here she is, the Send Pokemon application, as you can see right there. It's got that little Pikachu icon. Uh, some things that you should take a look at are Send Pokemon, Train Pokemon, Adventure, and whatnot. Uh, this is a pretty big application, uh, so feel free to peel through it. I'm going to try to distill it down to its basic essence on how to get the uh, these Pokemon right here into your Pokemon Adventure application where you can have lots of fun battling with them and and other things. Now I haven't uh, necessarily unlocked all of the Pokemon. Uh, in order to do so you have to uh, send, uh, you can see right there I've only unlocked 40% of all the Pokemon. To unlock more you have to uh, send increments of 10 Pokemon to your friends. Let's go ahead and go over here to train Pokemon uh, which is what you're gonna be hanging out. Uh, right now <laughs> yeah it looks like I have a Pokemon that's currently in training it's a Poliwag um, and uh, I'll be going into more detail on how to get them trained and in onto your belt uh, but uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to come back in about an hour in order uh, to have this Pokemon completely 100% trained and ready to go. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so here we are back now about an hour later, and um, we're just going to go ahead and I moved my Poliwog to my storage account. Uh, and How I did that I'll show you a little bit later, but right now we're going to go ahead and if we didn't have anything, we're going to select a Pokemon to train. And this is actually the Pokemon that we're going to be, that, uh, that you are having a hard time finding in the game. Because uh, you can go ahead and pick any one of these. Uh, me, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick Abra. Simply because he's a really sought after Pokemon uh, due to how hard he is to train. Uh, what you can do here is you can name your Abra, nickname him, give him a little personality. Me, personally, I really just like to leave it blank. Uh, so once you go ahead and do that... Uh, now you begin the process of getting him ready to port over to the game. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get his loyalty, which is right now at a 50, all the way up to 90. And uh, you do that by petting and feeding him, and it's actually an average of how hungry and how happy he is. So you can, act, you can only pet your Pokemon uh, once every 24 hours, so you should uh, go on to some chat rooms and... Uh, uh, get some other people to pet and feed your Pokemon. Now, for argument's sake, let's say that I've gone through that 12-hour uh, period and I've gone ahead and got my Abra, which is, this, I'm jumping back to my Poliwog here, up to um, a 90, uh, 90 or higher loyalty, 
which as you can see is about a 97 right now. I've had a bunch of people uh, petting and I've fed him quite a bit. Uh, so now what I can do is I can move him either to my belt or into storage. Uh, so at a cost of 100 Pokebucks, uh, it's a good thing that I have 100 Pokebucks. If you need Pokebucks, uh, there's a link right there that'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and move him to storage, which is going to help him to show up inside the Pokemon Adventure game. So here we are now back again in the Pokemon Adventure game, uh, which is a completely different application, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and click on the Pokeball to browse my selection of Pokemon. Scroll down here to my stored Pokemon, and if you remember, I put my Poliwag into storage in the Send, Poke Send Pokemon application, and there he is there. And I just moved him up to my belt, and uh, he is a level 1 Poliwag that uh, I can go ahead and effectively use in this application. And there you have it. It's uh, just about that simple. Uh, I hope this tutorial has been fairly informative. Uh, and good luck!